Hello and welcome to Vintage Tabletop Gaming. In this video, we are unboxing Morgrave's Blade Coven for Warhammer Underworlds. And we'll get some models like this crazy hair lady here with Blood Chalice, Creepy Snake Lady, and Jumpy Jump Lady. With some very cool models, lots of cool cards, and we're going to unbox it now. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to let you know how you can get 15% off this box, this warband. For a very very nice price so stay tuned for that in this box you get five lovely models very detailed lots of hair and when you think you've got enough hair you get some more hair um very nicely i gotta say the color of the models themselves which you know eh, whatever doesn't matter very nice i love how all the different underworlds models have their own specific color which is very very cool but in this box you get five fighters very dynamically posed models and when we do Show off the models at the end of the video, you'll be able to see how dynamic they are. You also get 32 specific warband cards just for the Blade Coven, and then 27 universal upgrade power and objective cards. Pretty standard for a Warhammer Underworlds box. You get the warband, warband, unique cards, and then a whole bunch of generic cards. So as usual, if you want to get everything, all the cards, just say you play one warband and you want all the cards, you got to buy all the boxes. That's fine. Um, Really, the warband themselves are, in Australia, this warband is $55. Um, it'll be different for overseas. So let's actually crack this open. So as usual, we got the models. We're gonna come back to the models in just a second. So we're gonna get those out of the box without breaking them. You have the build guide. So again, pretty stock standard build guide. There's only like three or four parts for each model. So it goes through like really straightforward. Even like this one here has three parts <laughs> with a base included. So you get that. And then you get the cards. As this is just about the models, oops, I am not going to be looking at the cards, but yeah, you do get, like I said, you get warband specific cards and then some generic cards. So it's pretty cool. I think you get, it just adds some complexity to the game. So every time a new box comes out or a new warband, there's extra cards that anyone can use. So it just changes the meta of the game which is always good. An evolving meta in any kind of competitive game is always a good thing. So before we get into the um, models themselves, let's have a look at the instructions. So we quickly had a glance before, but you can see very straightforward to build. Really, it's almost like stick everything on the horizontal, straight, done. Like a couple of parts in that one, three 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 parts in that one, including the base. So very straightforward to build. You shouldn't have any trouble. They are push fit as well, or easy to build, sorry. Um, well, this essentially is push fit now. So you can push them together and just play in a few minutes, which is one of the great things about this game. You can buy a box and just be ready to go in a few minutes. Yeah, you got to build decks, but that's fine. So let's bring the models in and we'll bring the camera down a little bit closer. There we go. Get that in shot there so we can get that all lined up properly without going crazy. So, let's move it that way. As usual, the models are integrated into the bases. It's a stylistic choice that Games Workshop have gone with. I'm not particularly against it. I think it's a good thing. I love how they are integrating models into the base. Yes, you do have the downside of the models are now fixed. You can't really do multi-part with that because how can you build a multi-part kit on a set bit of basing? But that's fine. I think that's fine. But with this one, with the three bases on this side, you could use them as just standard bases for other models, which is awesome. And then you have the two other bases here, which the Snake Lady, I can't remember their name because I haven't um, opened the cards to have a look at the names and it's not on the box itself. Um, the body of the snake is integrated into the base itself. And then with Morgwaith herself, her body is integrated into the structure of the base even though it's a separate model to the base, to put it on just a blank base, you'd have to put like a rock under her foot or do something like that. Or possibly get her in a more dynamic pose, and that's fine. But for the units themselves, like I said, they have hair, and if you think they have enough hair, you're wrong. They can have more hair. Like even down to the specific braids in there, see if I can get that focused in. There we go. So like the braid work in there, down to like the different strangly bits of hair going all over the place. Just like lots, lots of detail in the hair. Very chunky hair. It's very, very nice. And there's hair like going in all kinds of dynamic directions. 
and more hair here. I'd, that's what is really iconic about these models, that they're crazy hair. And the, um, the long spiky bits that hold onto the hair. So I'm saying hair a lot, but it's a big deal. So models wise, even there we have the base integrated into this model. So that's actually really cool. I like that base, some kind of ancient bit of stone overtaken by some chaos -y type tendrils. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, like as with all Warhammer Underworlds, the base, the models are all very dynamic. I really do like it. And of course, the rules come out for Age of Sigma, so you can play them in Age of Sigma as well. Yeah, tons of detail in these models. I mean, you're not going to go wrong with them. Lots of, just looking at the face there, lots of definition in the face. So you can really get in and add a lot of detail. Even on that one there, if we can get it in view. I hope that's focused, I can't really tell. It's just a lot of detail in there. So what we're going to do now, um, there is another build video that I'm putting together for this. You can see that up, up ahead. Or maybe I'll even show description here, who knows. But we're going to cut to the finished product and we can see all the models put together. And here we are, all five models completed. They are very, very nice models. And I've got them far back, so let's bring them a little bit closer. Let's pick out some of the cool ones. We have Whip Lady here with Crazy Whip. We can get any focus. There we go. Crazy, crazy Whip Lady. Um, very dynamic. Technically, just very nice. We also have Schneck Lady. Again, like just so dynamic. Yes, you do have a little mark there, but that's fine. You can fix that up. It's very, very cool model indeed. And then finally, Morgoth herself. Get this focused. There we go. Again, a lot of detail on the face. A lot of detail everywhere on this model. Lots of hair going all over the place. It's very, really very cool. Now, if you do want to get these models, check the description below. There is a link to Element Games. You, If you click that link and go there, you'll get 15% off buying this or any uh, Warhammer Games Workshop purchase there. And it will also help out the channel because I get a little tiny bit of a kickback there. So definitely go check that out. Even if you're not after Warhammer stuff, there's some really cool brushes there. We now have the um, building video. So I'll leave a link to that here and you can go check that out on how to build them. Very simple. It takes less than 15 minutes. So you can check that out. So definitely do subscribe if you like these videos and leave a comment. Which one? Oh, goodness me. Leave a comment about which one is your favorite model. And we will have a chat in the chat. In the, a chat in the chat. Chat in the comments. All right. That's it, I'm out. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.